Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be going over the course settings of our favorite Tutor LMS and explain what each individual settings does. First up, we have the course visibility settings. Turning this toggle on would mean that students must be logged in to view a course. So if they are not logged in, they will not be able to see the course at all. Next up, we have the course content access. Same as before, if you turn the toggle on for this course content access, then you would allow instructors and admins to be able to view a course's content without having to enroll on the course. So basically, if they want to make sure that a course is looking good to go, they can do it without having to enroll into the course. Up next is the course content summary. So whatever course content you have on the course details page, if you turn this setting on, a portion of that content will be hidden behind a show more button. And if you press that button, it will enlarge the content and show the rest of it. So this is a neat way to tidy up your course content. Up next, we have the auto redirect to courses option. Enabling this option would ensure that once a customer has completed their WooCommerce payment, they will be auto redirected to the course that they have just purchased. Now we have the spotlight mode. This is a very essential feature for Tutor LMS. So enabling the toggle for spotlight mode will hide the footer and the header of a lesson when a student is viewing that lesson. So this ensures focused learning as only the lesson is displayed on full screen to a student. Next up, we can configure how a course is to be completed. Setting it to be flexible would mean that a student can finish the course whenever they want according to their own time. But strict mode would make it so that students have to pass and complete all quizzes and lessons in order to complete a course. After that, we have the course retake option. If you toggle this on, you can allow a student to retake a course that they have finished. Then we have the attachment open mode here you can set how you want your attachments to open for students. So files that you have added as course attachments or exercise files, you can configure if you want students to either download the files or view them in a new tab. Then we have the option to enable enrollment expiration. This lets you set a time limit for enrollment of a course. So a student's enrollment will expire to a course after a set amount of time if you have this toggle turned on. We have a pre-existing video that goes more in depth on the enrollment expiration feature of Tutor LMS, so do check that out, links down in the description. After that, we have the settings to enable the classic WP editor for lesson editing. So enable this setting to use the classic WP editor for editing your lessons. Up next, we have automatically load next course content. If you turn this toggle on, once a course content has finished, be it a lesson or a quiz, the upcoming next content will be automatically loaded for a student. Then we have the option to enable lesson comment. Turn on this setting if you want students to be able to leave comments on individual lessons. This can be a great tool if you want feedback from students on what they thought of a lesson. Then we move over to the quiz settings. So we have the option to configure what happens when a quiz timer is expired. Setting it to auto submit would mean that once the timer runs out for a quiz, the quiz would just auto submit and close. Alternatively, if you set it to auto abandon, then the quiz will not be counted after the timer is finished. So students must manually submit the quiz before the timer runs out. Then we can set the number of attempts a student can get for a quiz. And of course, setting it to zero would mean that they have unlimited attempts. Next up, we have the show quiz previous button. Turning this on would let students go back to a previous question in a quiz. Then we can configure how we want to calculate our final grades. You can set it to highest grade, which would mean that the highest grade of a quiz would be counted towards completion, especially when you have multiple quiz attempts. You can also have it to count the average grade. 
first attempt and last attempt. And lastly, we have a option to select our preferred video sources. So indicate the video sources that you are allowing on your site. The one that you have unchecked will not show up as an option when making a course and adding videos to it. So we hope that this was a comprehensive explanation of the course settings of Tutor LMS and we hope that you will join us for the next one. Have a good one.